Good day and welcome everyone. For 75 years, Myersdale, Pennsylvania has been home to the Pennsylvania Maple Festival. And of course, this year was no exception. It's held every year in the spring and brings together people from the community, surrounding areas, and very far away as well. So this year was no exception that I visited the Pennsylvania Maple Festival. It's one of my favorite springtime rituals. So I came into Myersdale on Tuesday evening and was able to park at my cousin's place for the night. Then the next day I decided to go over to the Western Maryland Rail Station and uh, ride on the Great Allegheny Passage. Now, it was a very, very windy day. Um, I think the gusts were 30 to 40 occasionally, from what I understand. Um, and so riding wasn't uh, as much fun as it normally is, but I still wanted to get out on the trail. So I was able to capture uh, you know, a few nice pictures. I rode over to the uh, Keystone Viaduct, which is what you see here now. Um, you know, I still had a nice ride and a nice time and, you know, depending on where I was at on the trail, the wind wasn't too bad and on the way up the trail, you know, the wind was at my back. So, you know, it, it was great. Um, but boy, once I turned around, uh, you know, I was headed into the wind. That first mile and a half back was, was very, very windy. After that wasn't as bad on the way back. And, um, but I, you know, it's still a nice ride and I got some great pictures and uh, I rode up to, from Myersdale up to the uh, Eastern Continental Divide. And that's what you're seeing here in the pictures. There's some nice murals there. And of course, at the Continental Divide, it's downhill both ways. So, uh, you know, that's great. But uh, of course, that's where I turned around. And then I rode back into Myersdale. And, uh, you yeah, know, it, it was a nice ride. But, you know, if you get out that way and you like to ride or, or even if you just want to take a walk on the trail, there's a number of different parking areas. So my second night, I stayed at a Harvest Host location called Tall Pines Distillery. Now, this is in Salisbury, Pennsylvania, which isn't far from Myersdale. It's a very nice place, a nice parking lot to park. I got to meet the owner and uh, he told me about the business and showed me around a little bit, told me about the area. Uh, you can see here the nice parking lot they have uh, and they do have events from time to time. So you do have to schedule your Harvest Host Day ahead of time. And of course, a trip there wouldn't be complete without bringing home a little bit of something for yourself. So the next thing on my itinerary was to visit Mount Davis, the highest point in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a nice area to visit. There's a fire tower you can climb up. And uh, so here's a few highlights from my visit. All right, so this is a view of the Mount Davis picnic area. And if you go up to Mount Davis uh, from Myers, so you'll get to the picnic area just before the road that takes you back to the fire tower. You can park here at the picnic area and take a trail back to the fire tower. I did record a video here, but it was so windy that the audio did not turn out very well. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of narrate what, what we're looking at here. Uh, this is the picnic grounds. And to the right, if you go up to the end of the grassy area, you will find the beginning of the trail that takes you to the fire area. Now you don't have to walk the trail to get to the fire area. Uh, you can, there is a road that takes you back there in their little parking lot. So you can drive back there and then walk a short distance to the um, fire tower. Um, one of the reasons we didn't walk back was it was very muddy and you can see I have a white furry dog and I didn't want her to get all muddy. So rather than walk back the muddy trail to the fire tower, we decided to explore the picnic grounds. Now, my dog just loves to sniff. And, and that's just one of the things she does, you know, it's just natural. So I just let her explore these picnic grounds and she was just sniffing everything. Um, we walked around for a while and uh, I just let her have a nice time outside. It was very windy, uh, like I said, but you know, uh, it was just still a nice day to get out. The sun was shining. With the sun shining, it made it bearable. Uh, the high was, I believe, around 40 or 42, something like that. So, you know, it was still chilly, um, you know, but it still made for, for a nice visit, a nice stop there. And of course, uh, there's a sign from the road. I went over to Bogman Rocks, and that's just a short walk off of the little parking area there. And it's just a nice rock outcropping uh, that you can walk out to and uh, take in the view.
So a short distance down the road from Mount Davis is the High Point Lake. And you can see here in the pictures how choppy the lake was that day. Uh, it's almost like being at the shore a little bit, you know, with the way the, the small waves were breaking on the, on the shoreline. Uh, but even though it's windy, you know, it's still a nice uh, time to stop and take in the view and, and snap a few pictures. So of course the highlight of the trip was the 75th annual Pennsylvania Maple Festival held each year in the spring. It's great to see all the maple products that are locally produced in the area. So if you go into Festival Park, you'll see such things as Maple Manor. This is where the Myers family first lived. You'll see demonstrations of cooking off the sap from the trees and uh, they have demonstrations on how some of the maple products are made. There's many vendors there selling their wares. Um, one of the favorite things is the spatza. And so spatza is ice with some like maple syrup over it. And uh, you can see here that the maple syrup is hot when they put it over the ice, kind of melts, they stir it together and then you eat it. Uh, there's many displays uh, such as this. This is a coloring contest they had for the children. And here's another view of the uh, park and some of the historic things they have there. So it's a nice time. And of course, there's always the annual Maple Festival Parade held the second weekend of the festival. everyone likes to see the Allegan Motor Corps race around in their little cars, do their figure eights, and put on a good show for everyone. Everyone, young and old, loves to see them in the parade. Stop. You try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So each year, many area businesses, community groups, individuals, fire companies, and so forth make entries into the parade. It's always nice to see the wide variety of entries. And of course, if you contact the Maple Festival Committee, they can tell you more about entering in the parade and the judging for each of the different categories in the parade. So camping near Myersdale can be a little bit challenging. But about 19 miles away is Laurel Hill State Park. It's a beautiful state park. They have many, many sites. Some of them are full hookup, like my site here this year, Site 74, or other sites just have electric or no hookups, but it's a beautiful area to stay. Of course, when you go to My Myersdale or the Maple Festival, you have to bring home some maple goodness. These are maple rolls made from the Landis Bakery over in Berlin, Pennsylvania. And of course, you have to bring home many, many maple products, maple syrup, maple cookies, maple candy, maple creams, peanut butter, maple bonbons, all kinds of maple products can be had at the Pennsylvania Maple Festival. And actually you can find them around Myersdale any time of year. And of course, this year I got to add another pin 
to my pin collection. And uh, I've been collecting these now since 2013. And I was very fortunate uh, the Maple Festival Committee actually had a couple extra order pins, so I was able to get two of those this year. Well, again, I want to thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video around Myersdale, Pennsylvania, and the Maple Festival. And of course, if you're ever out in Somerset County, Western Pennsylvania, be sure to stop in Myersdale, check out the area, check out their Historical Society train station, and many other sites to see around the area. Thank you for watching.